can I get the technician to put this image up for a couple minutes? It's a close-up of what Bridget was holding just a second ago, so you guys can actually see the reason for us needing this. And before I really go into what I've written, I want to let you know, Ms. Kernigan, that I just found out my mother has 12 months to live, and i got to come explain to you how a shield is about self-defense. So let's put your silliness in perspective really quick before I start. Number one, I live in Oakland. I'm an Oaklander. I'm a Raider, Oakland Raider. I wear black, black power, black Panthers. That's what I do. Guess what? Our football team, our football team, what is their emblem? Skull and bones and a shield? And you want to prosecute Oaklanders? Are you kidding me? Like on different levels, I don't understand the willful ignorance that you constantly perpetrate here. But anyway, let me go back to what I've written. The quote for SF Gate that Michael just talked about, I don't want to read, read it. Um, I want you to know, unfortunately for you, I get to have a dissenting voice. In case you didn't get the memo with the Constitution and the First Amendment, let me be the one to remind you that I don't care if you think a protest should look like that or not. I don't think I should have to come out downtown Oakland before 12 noon and be tear gassed three times and have to dodge a damn grenade or whatever it was that exploded behind my head after I came and cried to y'all about me being afraid to go document May Day. I went to see a therapist to get diagnosed with temporary PTSD from the shit I saw on May 1st. The same shit that soldiers come home from war with Iraq, Afghanistan, hiding in ditches, watching people get shot and killed, dragging families out their home. They come home with the same shit. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. I don't have time to curb my language because shit is fucked up and bullshit. Okay? I can sugarcoat it all day long. But all it does is make people be, a, be comfortable to be appeased. So I hope I am making you uncomfortable. I also want to let you know I'm running for city council. Because I plan to agitate the fuck out of you. Do you understand? I don't, I don't really want to win because I have no faith in electoral politics anymore. Didn't come up here December 20th like that. Okay? But if I do win, I promise that I will ride your ass like a rodeo junkie. Okay? And make sure that you don't just get away with it, whatever. And I am talking to you like this because you the one, you the one who said that citizens' concerns were fucking ridiculous. I remember I had to stand up for spin when Desley jumped down your throat like she should have. Remember that? It's on YouTube. I made a video and sliced it up so people could just go ahead and watch that. As someone who worked with the radical feminist groups during the 70s, I'm disturbed by your consistent actions and statements about how citizens' concerns are foolish. And, are, and that's only some of the reason that I would love to hear more about Jane Bruner's um, term limits for city council members, because you've been here too long. It's time for you to go. With all this focus on violence, I want to know what you're doing about the very violent OPD that caused me to have PTSD after May Day. I didn't commit a crime. Unless maybe 148 APC, what was it? I was standing on the sidewalk, and when the police wanted to come, I told them I have a right to be here. So maybe I blocked them for a second. Was that a crime? Should I go to jail for that? Do I not have a right to travel freely in downtown Oakland? Can I not? We can not. Anyway. Shame on you for trying to pass legislation like this, using the fear monitoring that MSM caters to while committing video plagiarism, and then trying to label a very moral college journalism professor was a troublemaker. You can see mainstream media's gone. They don't even want to cover shit. I see more. Of course, these programs come here to express gratitude for you, for the table scraps that you offer them in comparison to what the police get to criminalize the same people that these programs are trying to help. Like Lupe Fiasco said, tease them with the upper crust. You get it, then you move it so they know you never keep it up enough. Right? Crabs in a bucket fighting for survival. They're going to be happy for the little table scraps that you offer them. But you always have hella money for OPD, right? Resourceful as hell. You can reach out and fucking touch somebody, huh, to get some money for OPD. But when it comes out for social programming or schools or anything like that, you're at a loss. Cry me a river. I'm tired of your excuses.
What I want to know is why you're cutting mental health children, um, services for children. You should know that these are the same children in Oakland that are getting mental health issues by coming outside and seeing what the police are doing when their parents try to teach them about their right to protest and have a dissenting voice in this country. I want to know why you haven't talked about Grace Napolitano's initiative, the Mental Health in Schools Act, that she's been trying to push for some years, that has very successful test results and stuff in California. Do you know anything about that? That was my NFALD debate topic last year where I actually found that and did the research on my own because I'm concerned about my community and that was something that I was interested in debating. I did it up for free. Actually, I paid for it because I have to pay to go to school. You get paid to be here. It's your job to make shit better. What's your problem? I want to say look at the ice cream three. I spoke about Anika before I came in here and cried, talked about her mom. That's mom's right there. I talked about her sister and how her sister is a lawyer now. We all trying to go to law school. These are the same individuals that the Oakland Police Department and mainstream media slandered their names. Yep. Hate crimes. They don't say nothing about the fact that I was standing there, that my footage caught the lady calling teardrop a nigga. That I ran in front of her and said, don't hit me, because she had her fist drew back to hit him. But somehow the Oakland Police Department managed to falsify the police reports that said that there were people present there that weren't even there. They're just known occupiers. Hold on, hold on, let me give you one. They said Teardrop is Melvin. Teardrop is shorter than me. Melvin is hella tall. It don't even matter. Do you see what I'm saying? This happens in the court of law with the abusive legislation that you put forth. Talking about, oh, I don't think that they're going to prosecute it that way. Yes, they do. Because I am not fed as a sidewalk. When I stand on the sidewalk, I'm not blocking you from going by me. But I will get arrested for malicious obstruction of a throwaway. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I don't see any recognition of the police department complete and utter failure to do anything that resembles law enforcement in regards to occupied protests. Instead, the city council just keeps giving them money and passing around more abusive legislation to excuse the abuses. I'm talking to you. Please don't look away from me right now. I want to talk about May Day again. Let me go back to that. Because we're talking about this new policy that the OPD has, right? Well, guess what their new policy did? Their new policy for snatch and grabbing still shot tear gas in the crowd. I'm, I'm talking to you. Ms. Kernigan, it's your initiative. I'm talking to you. I don't care. I Look at me. I, I, I don't care. Stop talking. You don't talk to after the speakers do. That's your law. That's your law. Abide by them. Abide by them. This is job. I want to talk about May Day again. Okay? How many years has May Day been happening in the city of Oakland? How many? How many times did it get tear gas? There are asthmatics in the group, children, disabled people. I'm standing behind the line of police where the protesters are over there, and I've got to dodge canisters. Somehow that's an improved policy. Like I said before, the policy doesn't need to be changed. We got this reform so far if our ass is cutting our judgment. The policy don't need to be changed. They need to be held accountable. You can sit up here and say whatever. I can say I'm not going to cuss on the mic, but if I get up here and still do it, then I've proven to you that I have no integrity, right? My word can't be counted on. Well, they came and said they wasn't going to tear grass large groups of people in the crowd to control them, especially to grab one individual. They lied. Don't believe it? Go to Ustream.tv, search Bella Aiko. Huh? Search Courtney Occupy, just as in. It's free. You don't got to pay Comcast out of hundreds of dollars to get that. Why is it that you don't understand that you keep giving money to the same gang, organized, oppressive, militarized force, oppressing our community, the same community you can't seem to find the resources for to provide permanent jobs? to provide a quality level of education. Yep. Huh? Talking to you. Still talking to you. You're not doing your job. You are not doing your job. You are not doing your job. Yep. You are fired in my book. Do you understand? 
If I could hand you a pink slip right now, I would. I'm not a nihilist, but I wish they would burn every fucking thing down except for the houses so that people could, be, could begin to understand how we don't need this system to survive. I don't need to pay a corporation for food and water that's provided by the same fucking earth that we will arrest people who try to start urban farms. Don't silence me. Don't you dare. Jessica. I am so tired. What you're dealing with is more than rage. What you're dealing with is me having to go pay a fucking therapist to tell me that I was fine on the morning of May 1st, but by the evening I had a fucking issue, post-traumatic stress disorder. Miss Holly, your time has expired. Yeah, her time has expired too. And unfortunately, you don't get to just shut me off. If you cut off the mic, I'm still loud enough. <laughs> They make it hella hard for me to breathe, so I'm borrowing my boyfriend's fucking asthma inhaler. But I've got enough in me to tell you that my mama is dying, and you got me fucked up if you think that I'm gonna let you get away with continuing to cl criminalize my motherfucking community. I've got to deal with this as a black woman here. You don't got to deal with this. So you need to get off your high horse. Okay? And remember the fact that you are a servant. Public servant. And you are not serving the people correctly. You on your knees serving capitalism. Get up and get your mind right. Because if you take our shields, the only thing left is, left is our Second Amendment right. So when we shoot back, I want you to holler safety. I want you to holler safety. The American flag, the Supreme Court said, it is a perfectly protected form of self-expression to burn that piece of shit that don't represent nothing except imperialism and fucking oppression. But guess what? It's not made out of flammable material. You need an accelerant. So you are officially stopping free speech with your dumbass initiative. Okay? And I don't live in the minority report. I don't live in the minority report movie. You do not have the right to arrest me because you think I might commit a crime. Fuck that. You want some dumb shit? I'm dumb too. You don't have the right. Holly, you, you, don't, you don't have the right to arrest me because you think I may commit a Ms. crime. Miss Holly, are, are you going to just go on and on? Or I could I mean, go I, on and on because this is some ignorant shit. I, and instead of going to my mama, no, no. Instead of being at my mama's bed, that's where you should. I am sorry about your mom and what, and you should probably be there. You, you, what? Yep. Is there is there another speaker? You, one more. There's. Okay, end the meeting.